For the Clinical Neurosciences Pathway, Dr. Lisa Merlin. Hi, guys. Good to see you all here on such a pleasant occasion. I am director and founder of the Clinical Neurosciences Pathway, which is the oldest pathway here at Downstate. It's been in existence for 20 years. It is a program of advanced studies that provides opportunities for students to indulge in a variety of neuroscience-relevant activities beyond their mandatory coursework. Activities include a seminar series in the second year of Foundations, as well as the ever-popular Mystery Case of the Month competition required of our third and fourth year members. Now, all our activities are open to all downstate students regardless of pathway membership status, but only those students who pass all mandatory neuroscience and neurology coursework in our College of Medicine curriculum and participate consistently in all our required academic components of the pathway throughout their time at downstate are recognized formally by the school as graduates of the Clinical Neurosciences Pathway. I'm pleased to announce that this year there are 29 students who met all our requirements for graduation. Of these 29, only one is going into neurology, <laughs> one neurosurgery, one pathology with plans to pursue neuropathology, two physical medicine and rehab, and six psychiatry. Of the remaining 18, they have chosen careers in a diversity of fields including internal medicine, pediatrics, family medicine, general surgery, anesthesiology, ENT, diagnostic radiology, and ophthalmology. Our students clearly recognize that a solid education in neuroscience is valuable no matter what clinical field you pursue. So without further ado, I'd like to announce the names of our graduates. Please come on up here for a photo op. Hold your applause until we finish. This year's graduates of the Clinical Neurosciences Pathway are Navira Arif, Brandon Badillo, Gregory Belazir, Rivka Benyaminov, Dennis Cummins, Javier De Jesus Lugo, Shavali Devjani, Andrew Doridi, Mayar Eloskadrani, Christina Falconi, Paul Flynn, Jennifer Gottfried, Natasha Goyal, Brandon Grill, Elver Ho, Adam Idrizi, Benjamin Krasnijonski, Luke Morales, Kevin Moran, Zaid Nakadar, Zainab Nathani, Nurulain Paracha, Rahul Roshan, Arman Shah, Binyamin Simchaev, Joanna Tabor, Andrew Voigt, Trevin Wesley, and Sylvia Zelensky. Congratulations to all of you.
Now proceed to the departmental awards. Our first award is the Department of Anesthesiology, Dr. Dennis Demaculangan. The uh, Dr. Joseph P. Giffen Award for Clinical Excellence is named in honor of Dr. Joseph Giffen. Dr. Giffen was a professor of anesthesiology and was executive vice chairman in the Department of Anesthesiology at SUNY Downstate and was chairman of anesthesiology at the former Long Island College Hospital. Dr. Giffen was a physician of multiple talents and outstanding clinical skills. He was also a dedicated educator, leader, and an administrator. This award is given to the student who exemplified these qualities personified by Dr. Giffen. This year's recipient performed exceptionally well in her third year clerkship and fourth year sub-internship anesthesia rotations, displaying exceptional clinical skills, strong work ethic, professionalism, and excellent fund of knowledge. The award is given to Dayara NDA. For the next award, can I request uh, Dr. Shevdi, Katan Shevdi, our uh, Vice Chair for Research, to assist me to give out this next award. It's the uh, Dr. Gerard L. Wolf Award for Excellence in Research. It is named in honor of Dr. Gerard Wolf. Dr. Wolf was a professor of anesthesiology and Vice Chair for Research. He was a researcher, mentor, lecturer, and author. His research involved the investigation and analysis of the flammability of materials, equipment, and gases in the operating room. This award is given to the student to exemplify the qualities personified by Dr. Wolf. This year, we have three recipients of this award. All of them were involved in research in our department since they were MS1s under the mentorship of Dr. Shevdi, Hartong, Wolodi, and Mauritia Victor. A lot of their works were presented in national meetings and led to peer-reviewed publications. The Dr. Gerard Wolf Excellence in Research Award is given to Miar Elaskandrani, Adam Idrizi, and Jordan Zal. For the Department of Cell Biology, Dr. John Kuby and Dr. Sam Marquez. Um, so first I'll present the awards, the Jack Way Awards for Excellence in Anatomical Sciences. Um, now for the graduating students, you may remember the first two years of medical school, traumatized by trying to learn during COVID or even having COVID yourself. It was a difficult process. Uh, many of the anatomical sciences embedded within the foundations were presented within the first year, the dramatic, difficult year of COVID. And it's very hard to do lab courses remotely, as you all remember. And I, uh, fortunately, I'm in, in, in neuro neuroscience, and we taught our course in the second year, and we were able to go back to the labs, but it was really a traumatic time, a very difficult process for you guys and for us to get across the information. Nonetheless, some people really did an excellent job, and we were able to sort out the excellent performance in anatomical sciences among the, the graduating class. 
Uh, so the anatomical scientists are from the gross anatomy faculty, from the histology faculty, and from the neuro, neuroanatomy component of the neuroscience faculty. So um, uh, I also want to mention that the awards are named in memory of, uh, so we, we're celebrating the excellent achievement of three students, but I also want to mention that the awards named in memory of Jacqueline Jackway. Um, I'm presenting the award because I'm really an old faculty member and I remember many, many years. And she's been, uh, she died about 20 years ago, but she had an extraordinary influence on in all three of the anatomical sciences. She was a great, very strong personality. So uh, I think we have probably a faculty members here who were students here, and I guarantee you that any faculty member who's a student remembers Jackie. She, you know, very, very, very distinctive. And I'll, if you want to find out, ask them about a lot of funny stories. She's a very good sense of humor. She was also a great, great teacher, but important to me and others, she was a great, great mentor. And her influence is felt throughout the years on how we teach the anatomical scientists. So you fourth year students who don't know her directly, you really know her indirectly. Um, so that enough said, the uh, three recipients are, and they'll come up, Isabella Dana, Perry Vignon, and Alice Yao. As I understand, Alice Yao um, won't be here today. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Marquez, and I thought that uh, the two recipients, I forgot that their names, so it's not like a surprise, so I wrote it as if I thought they didn't know, but anyway, so I have to allow me to deliver. Congratulations on your well-deserved achievement in the field of anatomy education, your dedication to teaching and your passion for advancing our understanding of the human body is truly inspirational. Mr. or very soon to be Dr. Andrew Doherty, who really guided and directed numerous mock anatomy practicals, which I'm sure the many different classes have appreciated over the years. I bumped into Seth Langley's. I said, I, I didn't know that he was up for that award, and, and now I'm going to repeat what you said. It's OK. Let me repeat it. Mr. Doherty, come on up. There you go. Where to go? So should I just bring the other person or? Yeah? Okay, let me just bring the two people, yeah. right? Because you're sharing it, not sharing it independently. Congratulations on winning the Anatomy Education Award. I witness how your contributions enrich your table mates during labs. I witness how they relied on you to begin lab and so on. I know you kept me on my toes as I prepped a bit more when I knew you were going to be in lab. You know why? Because your questions weren't about the lab, but they were uh, dealing with the bet side of the workplace, which is beyond my expertise. And while I know this is the Anatomy Education Award, I was educated this last past academic year listening to your commentary when we met on a weekly basis in the admissions committee. Your insights provided valuable information to assess candidates for the great school, for, this, for our great school, and I listened. I didn't mention your name, Nadir Mohammed, come on up.
Yes, Real quick, I, I know it's a bit long. Uh, Nadir uh, has a brother in first year, so it's in the family genes. Thank you. Next up, the Excellence in Dermatology Awards, Dr. Sharon Glick. Good afternoon, everybody. It's an honor for me to present three awards from the Department of Dermatology. I'm very honored to present the Alan R. Shalita Award for Excellence in Dermatologic Research. Um, this award is named for Dr. Shalita, the founder of our department and chair for almost 40 years. Jessica completed a, a one-year research fellowship in our Department of Dermatology in the area of photobiomodulation. Her commitment to healthcare disparity research helped identify the paucity of people of color in dermatologic clinical trials. The Betsy, the Elizabeth M. Clark Award for Excellence in Clinical Dermatology um, goes to two recipients this year, Kalita Waterton and Julianne Kleitsch. <laughs> Kalita did a, a research fellowship at Weill Cornell Department of Dermatology. Her research was in the area of nail research. In addition to getting an MD, she is also getting a Master's of Public Health. Julianne completed an autoimmune skin disease research fellowship at the University of Pennsylvania. She performed the largest study to date on neonatal lupus in patients with skin of color using a national database. So without further ado, can you guys all come up to send you? Okay, should we take a picture? Department of Emergency Medicine, Dr. Linda Fan. Oh hey everyone, I'm Linda Fan, Clerkship Director for Emergency Medicine. Um, I have the distinct pleasure of presenting the Society for Academic Emergency Medicine's Award for Medical Student Excellence to David Kim. Okay, All right. Uh, so, quick aside, COVID really affected the start of your medical school, and, um, and you guys had limited early clinical experiences, um, but David was not one to let COVID get in the way of his opportunities. Uh, early on, he lucked out, or uh, possibly was doomed, depending on your point of view, by having our previous chair as his PBL instructor. He then started his request to get into the clinical area. So, um, when he arrived as a second year, as a third year and eventually as a fourth year, uh, we found David to be one of the most engaged, conscientious, and intelligent students we have worked with. Uh, he was particularly noted for his bedside manner and teaching, which helped improve health literacy among his patients. I will miss his calm demeanor, his ability to get work done, and his leadership in the EM interest group. Congratulations, David. We are so proud of you. Oh my God. We're going to go a little bit out of order just to confuse you. Um, Department of Otolaryngology, Dr. Sidney Butts. Hello, everyone. Congratulations to all the soon-to-be graduates and their families, most importantly, because we know that's 
how this all happens. Um, my name is Dr. Sydney Butts. I'm the interim chair of the Department of Otolaryngology, and it's a real pleasure to be here today to um, award our outstanding medical student performance in otolaryngology to Jennifer Gottfried. Um, we're, we're lucky in otolaryngology because um, uh, you know, we're, I think we, we attract some of the, uh, all the students here are amazing and we're lucky enough to have many of you rotate with us during part of your surgery rotation and many of you then go on to um, want to actually apply in our specialty, which I think really attracts people who um, understand the really important impact on quality of life that um, otolaryngologists can make a difference in, whether it's the way you speak, whether you can hear, whether you can swallow, other ways that you interact with the world. And so um, Jen is going to do her residency at the Northwell program. We're very proud of her and wishing her all the best of luck. Thank you, Jen. Next up, uh, Department of Family Medicine, Dr. Crystal Marquez. Hey, hello everyone. It's an honor to stand before you today to present the Hyman Mernstein Excellence in Family Medicine Graduation Award. Each year, this award recognizes a student who not only excels academically, but also embodies the compassionate spirit essential to family medicine. This year, we celebrate Sonia Chimani Bach, a deserving recipient who has exemplified these values throughout her medical education. From the onset of our journey at our institution, Son Sonia has demonstrated a dedication to the family of, uh, field of family medicine. Her commitment shines brightly in her clinical performance, where she approaches each patient with empathy and a deep-seated respect for their individual health needs. While all of our fam future family medicine physicians have this exemplary ca characteristics, Sonia has shown a remarkable commitment to the broader field of family medicine through her active involvement with the New York State Academy of Family Physicians. As a member of the Advocacy Commission, she has worked tirelessly to promote policies that improve patient care and support the vital work of family physicians. So congratulations, Sonia, on this well ward and recognition. For the Department of Medicine, Dr. Moro Salafu. You can Thank you and good afternoon to all of you and uh, congratulations to the uh, class of 2024 and, your, and the families uh, thereof. Um, it's an honor to present the uh, Eli A. Friedman um, Hour of Distinction in Internal Medicine uh, to four very deserving individuals, uh, Nicole Ackerman, Sophie Eldred, Joshua Hirsch, and Kevin Moran. Uh, <clears throat> just a little bit about Eli Friedman. Um, this is just a wonderful indiv individual class of 1957, went to Harvard for internal medicine residency and fellowship in nephrology and came back to Downstate in 1963 to set up the first dialysis program in the United States. So if you didn't know that Downstate was the first place that dialysis started, now you know. Um, his career was really excellent. He became you know, president of three uh, medical societies. He rose to become distinguished teaching professor in our system. He just loved the students. Uh, he just exemplified someone who will see a patient, examine the patient, make a diagnosis. He was the most curious person I ever encountered in medicine. Um, so this award uh, you know, exemplifies that. Those students who performed the best had honors in their third year clerkship, honors in their fourth year uh, sabai, uh, and had absolute curiosity for internal medicine. Uh, so we're really very proud of you and what you did in internal medicine. Uh, so. Please join me in um, thanking them, but I want to say a few things about each of them. So, Nicole, I want to just say a few things about what the uh, attending said about you, just briefly. So, in her third year, uh, this is what the attending said in summary. Nicole was self-motivated, dedicated, proactive, and curious medical student who did an outstanding job, right? 
And in the fourth year, they said, outstanding student. Uh, she was very involved right from the beginning, very proactive, asked questions, and showed interest in the field. Excellent medical knowledge, work, work ethics, and communication skills, great leadership skills. So, uh, So for Kevin, in the third year, this is what your attending said about you. A very talented and knowledgeable student who worked hard for the patient and colleagues. Very, I was very happy uh, to be part of the team. Uh, he was always timely and always available to help everyone in the team. In the fourth year, this is what they said about you. Hard worker, excellent team player, very good fund of knowledge, uh, really very outstanding sub eye, and very fun to work with. I saw everybody gave certificates, but we give plaques. the Department of Neurology, Dr. Brian Anziska and Dr. Ernest Bartholomew. Yes, uh, Dr. Bartholomew will be presenting the uh, award uh, to Mr. Ball, uh, shortly from Dr. Ball in, in a few minutes. But I just want to talk about Abraham Max Rabiner, for whom the, the uh, award is, is named. He really was an incredible character, belonged to the old school of neurology before, really before 19... 40, 1950, although he retired in 1958 as Chief of Neurology at Kings County, much of his work was done really beginning in the uh, 1920s already. Uh, this is a picture of him teaching at Kings County. He was a very, uh, let me say, active teacher who engaged the students whether they wanted to be engaged or not. <laughs> uh, he went to the University of Albany, uh, medical school. Uh, like so many people in those, in those days, the before, before World War II, he split his residency between Mount Sinai and, and Montefiore, acted for a time as the pathologist at Montefiore, and very famously, if we can have the next slide, in the early 1920s, he went to one of the European neurological uh, meetings and met the great Babinski, who's one of the great names in neurology. And on the top left, there's a hammer that, a uh, reflex hammer that Babinski used. Uh, and they actually got into a heated argument as to the origin of the Babinski reflex, which every medical student knows. And uh, they made up, and Babinski gave him his own reflex hammer, which he brought back. He was... Uh, at Litch at Long Island College Hospital from 1937 to 54, and then moved to Kings County. At that time, Litch was the major uh, hospital of downstate outside Kings County. Uh, uh, he retired to Miami and continued going to rounds at the University of Miami and passed away in, in 1980. Okay, I'm going to introduce Dr. Barthelme, who was recently, I guess recently, about two or three years ago, appointed Chief of Neurosurgery at uh, Downstate. Uh, uh, and he's going to talk about uh, uh, Joanna uh, and her achievement. She's going to become a resident in neurosurgery at Yale. Great. Thank you, Dr. Francisco. So, hi, Joanna. <laughs> Joanna was one of the first people who welcomed me uh, to Downstate when I came here uh, a couple of years ago. And so, um, it was, and it was clear to me very early on that um, this one was going to match. <laughs> um, she was a very proactive, um, industrious, um, has been prolific uh, already, uh, including 
Just two months ago, she had an article published in the Journal of Neurosurgery, a first author publication uh, examining uh, ethno-racial variations in genomic profiling in meningiomas. Um, and um, had a stellar research year at Yale. They clearly loved her there. Um, she's also been extraordinarily engaged and generous with her time in our student club for the uh, American Association of Neurological Surgeons chapter. Um, and clearly learned something from her sub-eyes because she did a great job helping me teach our students in a craniotomy workshop that we hosted um, in the club just about a month ago. So um, I couldn't think of anyone more deserving and I can tell already that uh, while well, she clearly has made us very proud and she'll continue to make us very proud. So congratulations to Dr. Tabor. For our next award from the Department of Neurology, Dr. Nuri Jacoby. Oh, and Dr. Lisa Miller. Hey, everyone. Uh, so the American Academy of Neurology uh, sponsors a medical student prize for excellence in neurology. This prize is awarded annually to the graduating medical students who show the most promise for a highly successful career in neurology or a related field. So we have two students worthy of recognition this year. Uh, one who got to sit down for about 20 seconds. Uh, the students we selected both got honors on the neurology clerkship, uh, scored exceptionally well on the neurology NBME exam, and are members of the CNS pathway, um, and we have no doubt are destined for promising careers in neuro-relevant fields. Uh, so the two students are Natasha Goyal and Joanne Goyal and Joanna Tabor. So the AN prize consists of a medal, a reflex hammer, and a certificate. Uh, all right.